Hello there, fellow teammates of the Channing Army. Welcome to Ion Fury. This is a game that came out, I think, oh uh, yeah, last year. Now, I myself, I have played the preview campaign of this, and it looks really good. And interestingly enough, this is made by the same people who made Duke Nukem 3D and even the original Saturn Warrior game that would of course later get a uh, reboot in 2013 and a sequel three years after that and of course a sequel which it is planned to come out sometime next year which I have no idea what that time is going to be it is set to it was announced that they were going to do it and even the big weapon there was of course Hoji's mask but regardless of that, I think you get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to go into the Wii here. In the near future, the streets of New DC are what with crime. You're Captain Sally Bombsell Harrison, leader of the GDF. Domestic task force and the baddest... Uh, B, bringing it to augmented criminals that dare to defy the long-standing order of permanent monster law. You earned your nickname through proficiency with explosive and kept it with your femme fatale look. DC is your town, and you aren't going to let cracked out cyborg punk drag it any further down the drain without a fight. Though it has only been six months since you assumed the position, you're already the longest serving head of the unit. A dubious honor, as all your predecessors were killed in the line of duty. I wonder why. As you fruitfully attempt to get slossed after another horrible day in urban hell, the frozen rings out and your overpriced water down drink become one with the ground. Time to get furious. Now as I said before, this is something that um, was talked about. In fact, I even saw a review of this by Mr. Icarus. Check him out if you want to. He's a real good guy and he does a lot of various uh, reviews here and there. Uh, his most popular series, as far as I know, is of course the quote-unquote uh, Doom Mod Madness, which I've got to get quite a few of his mods that he's... Well, from the mods that have actually been out for quite a while. And of course, there's also some tips here. Level boy fires faster if you tap instead of a fire. Booting fire increases the intensity of bowling bombs. Bowling bombs locked on and charged. A fire for combo strikes. Here's the crowd making open my great food enemies and afraid don't get wasted. Secrets are everywhere. And as you can already tell, there you go. Which is, is interesting with it because 3D Realms is, I guess, a slightly coming. Wait! Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, what the? John C. John? Mr. Duke Nukem himself did Dr. Hesco. Mr. Duke Nukem himself. Wow! I, I did not know that! That the Mr. Duke Nukem himself, the Dr. Heskel. Wow! Also, in case you are wondering, I do also plan on actually playing the sequel to this game. Yes, that's right. Bomb Cell is actually a sequel to this game. This is the prologue to it. Anyway, just gonna look at those things right there. F6, F9. Alright. And as always, of course, there's my Mega Trainer. And the only thing I'm using, if it would turn on, there, infinite ammo. That's the only thing I'm using. Regardless, though, I got to get chat to set bonus missions. Uh, far as I know, Crisis in Colombia. This is actually the preview campaign. I've actually played through these myself. This is the uh, preview campaign. This is m this is more along the lines of a uh, pretty much uh, survival. That's pretty much they're playing through the preview campaign using nothing but just bowling bombs. And of course, you got the shots to select here. Night on the town. Da 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 da. And of course, you got this thing here for its blood, easy difficulty, wanton coinage, auto and maximum fury. It's worth enough. 
Uh, these are actually kind of like a reference to the, uh, I guess you could say, Doom faces. But, of course, for each one of them, I, of course, will be playing this on Walton Carters. Enjoy the cutscene. Suddenly controls, as you can already can tell. I can also reload, but uh, I don't know why that is. Also, what we have here is the lover boy. Let's we do this geek. I can also overheal a little bit, so. Let me up there. Well, yep, there's of course the obvious uh, thing from the Nukem 3D there. Talk shit, get shot. <laughs> yep, and there we go. There's the trash talking. Now, I don't know what's going on with my system. I, I do own two copies of that uh, Duke Nukem game that was out. But well, it's still out. Also, I don't know why they decided to pull the uh, Duke Nukem Megaton Edition from uh, the Steam Store. Oh yeah, don't forget this. I know what perfect is actually... What perfect that actually, of course, uh... Oops. Oh yeah, and you gotta to see I got my uh, TSK with his uh, how long the secrets and the kills. Nothing there. Oh and hey, look at that! Look at that! There's also of course a lot of the old games that were around during the time I grew up. Uh, called Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold, Bio Menace. I never heard of that one, and even Monster Bass. But by the way, you can get them for eight bucks on DOD. Anyway, that's the uh, book. Hey! I spray, you pray. Hey, got it on my first try. <laughs> and with this game, did of course have a little bit of development. It, it's not not all that hard to actually make a game like this. I mean, I've seen other games maybe similar to this. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me of those, uh... Oh, I'm trying to think very carefully here. Oh, you've seen, like, those signs where they have, like, the neon lights, but sometimes the neon lights don't work? Yeah, that's... I know it's supposed to say cocktails, but, yeah. Yeah, take, take, take what you will with this game. This game does, uh, have a little bit of some info waiting from a course. Well, Duke Nukem. Let me have my med pack. Maybe I already got my middle pack. Alright, Mr. John St. John. The public service announcement. Return to the 
return to your homes or face death. We're taking over this town. Think again, asshole. One good spill deserves another. Your blood for my drink. Oh yeah, don't be afraid to suit most everything here because everything will always have something to like energy surrenders. And even though I have this set to uh I guess a medium difficulty, it can still be somewhat of a uh, slog. Gonna put that there and then put that as uh, there. That was probably one of my more favorite ones. Here comes the ball! And... The strike! Holy shit! Oh, you can also suit it as well. Yeah, that's the... Especially enough, a lot of these also have alt fires. I never could figure out what the alt fire was for the uh, lover boy here, so that was that. I, I legitimately have never figured that out. Is it like uh, a dead eye thing or something? I don't. I know here is where you can get, I think, two of your weapons. Because of course it's uh, the obvious. A uh, submachine gun. I'm gonna go back over here. I know there was like a secret over here I forgot about. As for the secrets over there, I don't know how you get over there without cheating. Like putting in the uh, no clip command. And is there like something specific I got to do? I don't know. But I'm not going to try going for everything. As you well know. Oh yeah, the other can also kick the heads. Nothing there. There we go. Now we got into the uh last three. We also tap squirt your map. Where's the uh, hole? <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, and it I'm also going to be putting these as half hour segments. Because the eat game really isn't necessarily all that long, per se, but the levels themselves aren't really nothing much in terms of levels, per se. They're almost like each chapter essentially is one full level in itself. 
Yeah, I don't know how you get over there. I, mean, I know that's pretty well a secret or something like that, but I legitimately don't know how to get over there. Unless it's some sort of secret way that I can do it. Yeah. Ow. Then, uh, please let me know. Without... Without having to resort to uh, the noclip code. Now, keep in mind that not all of them do have an ult, so... And the dispenser, as you put it, simply is a six belt either grenade launcher or shotgun. Boom! And here's the grenade launcher. Hey, cats! Except with your hands, not your face. I don't get by the reload animation, but then again. Using like a uh, old tech. Imagine the future, because you're not in it. My balls, your face. So you'll be constantly moving around. That was nice. Stop my face right in, right in there. Check everywhere because you don't know what secrets are going to be where. Go me! Now, for me personally, I grew up with uh, stuff like this. I'm not kidding. I legitimately grew up with this. Now, I was born in 1993, so I was kind of, I guess, a, at the near end of it. And, hey, look at that. There's a reference to the original Doom game. As I said, I grew up with this stuff, so... Taco Bells. I mean, that's pretty well this section. And if if I can at least get all of the uh, kills, then I'll go for that. Go at the DDF. Cafe Safe. Keep a 20 and 420. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to the next area. That does. Okay, it marks them.
anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. The ladder. Nope, that takes me back here. I do not need. In there. Ow. Now, we're we'll making that, and it's been a while since I've played this, so. We certainly need to be that good at it. Not all that good at games like this. Up we go. Ah, yellow key card. And I've probably spent, spawned a bunch of things. Nicely done! And so of this. Oh, ow, 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 I need to heal, I need to heal! Be hurt. Ah, Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. I need health, something desperate. Come on, they need some winces. And I don't mean that in a in a drug addict sense. Now, I know that there's a way to get in here. I don't know exactly how. Something to do with that up there, I don't know. Anyway, it's good that I managed to get myself a patch up here. Nothing that laying down another beating can't solve. There we go. I'm back up some good health here. An N or M? N. On your knees yet?
Yep, be proud, Mr. Wu. There we go, back up to full health. Sit down, little girl. This is your final warning. What are you gonna do? Send me to my room? Oh, I'm so scared! Ooh, oh no! Clean up on aisle your ass! Yep! Hit him with the electro sucker! And they go berserk! Hey, cat! With your hands, not your face! Oh, too late! <laughs> Is that like a modern day Duke Nukem? Yeah, I see that there's something up there, but I don't know how to get up there. Also, whenever we get around to, I guess, say, the final level, the final boss, Mr. Hesco himself, keep in mind, it will be a long slog for that because A, you'll be dodging things left and right. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? What were they thinking there? And at the same time, you have to use bowling bombs. Something opened up. What did that with the presser foot? Something might have opened up. Say my name. That's supposed to be a weapon to, uh... Oh no, did anything open up over here? Because I feel like I might have opened something up there. Oh, there's something. How in the wood am I supposed to get up there? I'm legitimately curious. If I have to cheat, I, I, I'll cheat just so that I can see what the uh, secret is, but... Ow. Okay, so that's a couple of those. So, those have reference to something. So, by doing that, am I opening something up? Oh. I 
I don't know. I feel like I am doing something. But what? I don't know. There. Somehow I can get up there. Wait a minute. Of course. A good area. Locked. Did something. What I do not know. We've been flipped. What exactly did that do? Like they flipping that do. Hmm. Obviously, it might have opened something, but what? Take another look around. Make sure I didn't miss anything. By the looks of it, I'm pretty well done here then. Take a time I put a light of fire under your ass. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. I mean, it will tell you if you miss secrets or not. Don't feel too bad about missing a few secrets here and there. Are we gonna change much of anything? I see, it's for armor! Now I might die a few times trying to do this, but... Uh... Got it. There we go. The ladder. The ladder. It's time to make a splash. Yeah, they're missing six secrets in the area. Don't really care. On to the next one. And that's going to be it for this initial episode of Ion Fury. So far, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good game in itself. I don't remember how long the game is, so bear with, with me on that, that it might take a more than a few parts at what I initially planned for. Regardless of all that, thanks for watching. Be sure to press that red button to become part of the Chainling Army. And until next time, time. Until next time, stay transparent cooler, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.